Yozu's old brand only really took the visual elements into account, which is obviously important, but it felt a little too focused on style over substance and didn't do Yozu justice. Over the last few years, we have done work on other aspects, such as tone of voice and values, but never really looked to tie everything together to create one complete cohesive brand identity that really demonstrated who we are as a company. Over the last two years, Yozu has transformed itself both in terms of how it operates internally and also how it engages with clients. We're no longer that small startup team and we needed an updated brand that would reflect that. From the very start, we wanted the new brand to be authentic and meaningful. We didn't want it to simply be a purely aesthetic change. This would mean really challenging ourselves every step of the way. We knew how important it was to listen and learn from others, and not only consider our own preferences. We ran a series of discovery and brand workshops with all stakeholders to better understand what Yozu meant to them. We also undertook competitor and audience analysis, ensuring that the brand was commercially viable. All of this work culminated in the creative direction and strategy for the brand. Throughout the whole project, we maximized creative output by building on each other's ideas. I think this collaborative mindset allowed us to deliver a unique concept based on strong storytelling. And it was real fun. After producing hundreds of logo concepts, we started exploring different routes, always focusing on creating a logo that would fix the weaknesses we had with the previous one. Consistency, better interactivity with other elements, boldness and the ability to support and enhance sub-brands were some of the key objectives. Yozu is a digital development company that's constantly evolving and we wanted to reflect that with the new logo. Pixel is at the heart of all digital development and there's nothing that's more capable of evolving and creating something new, so using this core element in the new logo was the perfect choice. We also moved the full stop at the end of the previous logo to the front of the new one. We're not the end of something, we're with our client from the beginning. The Y is formed by two main elements an angle bracket and two square dots. These typographical symbols are fully used in most programming languages. But wait, look a bit further. If we decompose the angle bracket, we have two slashes. And if we play with the dot, we have a column. And that's really cool. You can keep going. Why not mix a dot and a slash? Here you go, an opener for a code comment. I guess that you see where we want to go. The core of Yosu's symbol is the programming language. We wanted colors that would represent the different side of Josu, the clients, the projects, and of course, the team. We produced more than 50 color palettes, focusing on digital and traditional color, and then we tested them with the wider team. The feedback resulted in our chosen color palette, which we are really happy with. I've never known a business with so much personality, passion and genuine belief in what they do and how they do it. So it was imperative to us that our tone of voice and key messaging reflected this. Similarly to the work undertaken to develop the visual identity of the new brand, we held a series of workshops to identify keywords and phrases that the team felt reflected who we are and these would ultimately act as a springboard for our new brand messaging. We also had to develop our brand archetypes, profiles that we could refer to when we wanted to quickly and accurately depict Yozu's personality. 
We settled on two archetypes, the sage and the magician. The sage uses wisdom and intelligence to understand the world. Both student and scholar, they're open to new ideas and ways of thinking. The magician, meanwhile, is bold, transformational, and makes the impossible possible. By combining the traits of these two profiles in our messaging, we feel we're doing the best possible job of accurately reflecting Yozu. We really feel that the new branding represents the team more authentically now. Uh, that was no accident either because of the process that we followed. We felt that uh, doing early research and presenting some concepts that we could get feedback on as early as we could allowed us to then uh, get on the right path and actually end up with the final designs that were produced. A really big part of launching the brand was to get an honest reaction from the team to the final concept. We did a presentation at our monthly All Hands meeting where we took the guys through the final look and feel and how the brand would actually be applied either internally around the office or externally in any communications or any marketing that we do. And we had an amazing response. Uh, and the, the exciting part of launching the brand was to also invest in some merchandise. We handed out a lot of bags where people could have a water bottle was fully branded or a notepad or a Rubik's Cube. And to actually touch the branding actually got people a little bit more excited in uh, realising this has come to life at last. In terms of marketing, I think that the new branding gives us so much more versatility in terms of how the brand can now be applied. I've seen so many amazing design concepts that are going to help us improve the collateral that we produce, any content that's created to help marketing going forward. An area where we've really improved our ability to be creative is how we've applied colour palettes to associate with our brand family. So whether we're promoting things around Yozu or Yozu careers, we've got a clear identity that associates with those brands that helps with the clearer messaging overall. I honestly believe the new branding represents a more experienced and mature team that helps us with our market position of not just helping SMEs, but working with enterprise level clients to deliver digital transformation. An exciting goal for this project was for our concept to stand proudly next to any other global brand. What we mean by that is we want Yozu to be recognisable and people really connect with our brand identity and the value that we deliver. <laughs>